Hey, we're Born Ruffians, and you're watching the AU Review. When it comes to uh, Falls Festival, did you have a chance to catch uh, any other bands while you were there? Yes. Uh, we saw the Violent Femmes twice, which was pretty wicked. So, it's Vampire, Vampire Weekend, Solange, a bit of Solange. Tiny slice of Solange. Neil Finn. Yep. Bombino? Is that the name of that band? Uh, we saw some comedy as well, which was good. <laughs> so a, little, a little bit of everything. A little bit yeah. of everything. Yeah, we kind of, yeah, we did. We saw like a little bit of everything. Um, yesterday, I think we saw more at, in Byron, but it was a good festival. I, I really, really liked it. You mentioned uh, the acoustic, we, we talked about the acoustic record. Have you been playing any of the, the, the songs from the record in an acoustic format live? No. And that is a cool idea. That'd be a cool idea for like a small set or something somewhere, but lately we've been just blasting uh, bangers, so <laughs> not doing anything really acoustic yet. Maybe when the, when the EP comes out we can work something on. But. Do you have any idea when it, when it, might, uh, when it might come out? Uh, soon. Do we have a date set for it? No. Soon. Sometime. <laughs> Sometime. Sometime. Sometime soon. Sometime soon. Yeah. And will that, will that kind of, you know, embrace another tour? I mean, like when, when bands release kind of a, a, a different version of the record, is, is that going to push forward kind of a new style of touring? Are you going to play churches and do acoustic <laughs> shows and things like that? Yeah, we'll do uh, only campfires <laughs> and uh, high school coffee houses. Uh, I don't know. I I I'm curious as to how if we'll like support it as well, like on a tour. Maybe, maybe we'll do some like local shows or like shows like in Canada and stuff, uh, in general. But I don't know. We're still kind of like planning it out and making sure we're gonna do everything right. So. And it's been three years between visits in Australia. Do you think uh, do you think you'll get back sooner next time? Hopefully. <laughs> I really like it here. Uh, yeah. Every time we come, it's a it's an awesome time. And I think we always talk about the like kind of kinship that Canadians have with Australians and uh, so I think it's good to come and visit a little more often especially for less than uh, 10 days is is not a good idea especially when we fly like I don't know we were like 35 hours in transit or something oh I guess that, that was to China we, we were in China before this but it's a long flight to just stay here for 10 days <laughs> I was going to end talking about this, and um, it's always interesting hearing bands talk about their experiences in China. Um, was it your first time touring around that region? Yes. It's it's a bit of a process getting there for bands. You have to have your lyrics vetted and, and all these sorts of things. Did you have have those sorts of experiences? No. We were actually I was really surprised as to how uncrazy it was. Mm. Uncrazy. Like we, I think it was because we were there for just like under three days. I think they allow us to travel kind of easier like if we were there doing like originally I think they wanted us to do like what was like a three week tour or something and we were just kind of like that seems like a bit much for our first time in China so we just opted, like opted for one show and uh, yeah I've never heard of that so what happens you have to like show them your lyrics they have to approve that it's not you know in, in uh, <laughs> anti China essentially <laughs> like all of our songs are yeah you're an exclusively anti <laughs> anti communism yeah oh, regime man. band I kind of wish we got that experience but also I kind of <laughs> don't because I was slightly terrified crossing into the border I just get I get scared of all border co crossings even though we're doing everything <laughs> completely legitimately so where was the show it when w no wh where was it oh uh, in Shanghai it was in Shanghai it was like a Vans sponsored show that we played and it was it was cool. I was completely like delirious and like I don't know out of it for like the whole experience, but it was really really cool. Still, did you stop anywhere else in the Asian region, or was that that the only stop on the way here? That was it. it was, yeah. Did it make you want to do it more? Did it make you want to kind of explore that region a bit more? A little bit, yeah. It'd be cool to definitely spend more time there, and yeah, be able to see a lot more. Like even of Shanghai, we only saw a little bit because we were there for the show, woke up and had to fly that night so we had time to like walk around and see a little bit of Shanghai um, but I don't know maybe in the future we'll do that three week tour and have to sing all of our songs at the border <laughs> <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens yeah <laughs> well 
Really appreciate your time. Looking forward to seeing you tonight. It has been a long three years since, since you were last year, so looking forward to it. And um, thanks for taking the time. Thank you.